Another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, we're talking solstice loot, gunsmith reputation changes, and finally, we'd like to invite you to save a special date. Before you go all in on the latest twab, we wanted to share a small statement following recent events, particularly regarding instances of harassment within our community. Our aim is to foster a healthy, inclusive, and kind community. While there's a lot of conversation happening about online harassment, we want to take this opportunity to remind folks, as we have done in the past, do not attempt to harass, attack, or pop onto anyone that Bungie is engaged in litigation with. The best way to support this community is by being a positive example of that kindness and inclusivity that is at the heart of what it means to be a guardian. For this week's TWAB, we're sharing some details about a specific August date that you'll want to pay attention to. We're also checking out some awesome Sosa's rewards for players to earn in the real world, opening up trials with Cyrus voting once more, and seeing what's up with our good old pal, Banshee44. But first, let's kick things off with a special event that we're hosting next month. And because we're honestly just too giddy to hold off any longer. With that being said, let's just get right into it, shall we? So save the date. We're stoked to announce the date of the next Destiny 2 showcase, and we'd like to invite you to mark August the 23rd, 2022, down on your calendars. No spoilers, but we're excited to show you what's next. Who knows? We may even have some surprises up that proverbial sleeve. That's right, guys. Bungie actually dropped us a teaser trailer earlier. A lot of this we've already seen, right? Like the Witness, showed some Rolk. You even got the end cut scene there from the Garden of Salvation raid. And of course, that infamous dialogue where the witness is pretty much talking mad smack to the traveler or whatever, pretty much saying you have played every piece. And we're under the assumption that Lightfall is literally going to be us losing. In our breakdown of what to expect in Lightfall, we actually mention this is like our Infinity War going into Endgame. Now, Bungie continues, we also want to take this moment to set some expectations before the showcase itself. Because we have a few exciting things set for next month, TWABs before that date will not be announcing any major news. We'll still be updating you all on what's going on in the live game itself, but we will not be sharing any groundbreaking revelations until everyone has witnessed, not you witness, the showcase dropping next month. And in case you missed it from our previous TWABs, we're still looking for Guardian Profile videos to feature at said showcase. Don't be shy. Go ahead and use the hashtag Guardian Profiles hashtag on socials to share with us your favorite memories and wholesome moments with your friends that you've made along the way and anything else that you want to share with us about what makes you a Guardian. Tag us in these moments. We would love to see them. Guys, by the way, August the 23rd is a Tuesday. We will be live co-streaming this event over on our Twitch. Feel free to come hang out. I'm gonna have some popcorn. We're gonna have like a load of lore videos like two, three hours before the showcase that we're gonna be watching just to kind of get us all up to speed because I know it's easy to kind of lose grip of the narrative sometimes with life and other things. Don't worry. We're gonna get a nice refresher going into the showcase. That way we're all on the same page. Now moving on. Banshee44 is making his way downtown repping fast. We've been making changes to the various vendors in Destiny 2 and with the new season on the horizon, the team feels that season 18 is the perfect time to make some tweaks to old Banshee. To talk about what sort of transformations players can look forward to when looking at ranking up that gunsmith reputation track, we've got an economy feature lead, Joshua Kalinski, here to talk about some of those changes on behalf of the team. So from Joshua, over the course of the last two seasons, we've been evaluating data as well as your feedback regarding gunsmith reputation progress. And just like Banshee44's memory, it's not quite in the state that we would like it to be. In order to address this, we will be making a few changes in season 18. Here's a brief overview overview of what players can expect. Firstly, starting in Season 18, completing daily gunsmith bounties will now grant 50 gunsmith reputation each, up from 25 for a total of 200 gunsmith reputation each day. Because of that, you're going to want to make sure and drop on by to give OXO your hellos when hanging out in the tower. Secondly, and more impactful for players, gunsmith reputation gained from dismantling legendary or exotic weapons and armor will be increased to 5 each, up from 3. This will offer a considerable boost to the rate at which gunsmith reputation can be Earn. Overall, we want engaged players to be able to reset Banshee44's reputation at least once per season. And though these changes come in Season 18 will allow players to rank up with the EXO more efficiently, we will continue to monitor and evaluate progression over the course of the coming seasons. We hope these changes make the gunsmith reputation system feel more rewarding in Season 18. So get out there and get that loot. Like Banshee44 always says, every little bit helps. Trust me. Alright? Yeah, some vendor tuning. No, like, major changes. Just mainly reputation here. I tell you what, though, man. With the sandbox changes, I've been having some serious case of fun. I wish we had a better method of getting access to some of those older weapons, right? Like, I feel like Banshee would have been the guy for that. Now, Sosa's loot, because why not? Sosa's is live, and now we can all touch grass together in the tower. Feel that? That's some quality photosynthesis. You know what else is quality? The new Bungie Rewards 2022 Sosa's t-shirt and tank top that are now available over at the Bungie store. Okay, okay. That Flame Keeper seal pin is pretty nifty, too. Not gonna lie. Oh, looky there, fellas. That's right. You can buy it. The seal, the shirts. Tank top actually looks pretty good. Moving on. Known issue. 
I actually really want to look at this because last word did it make the list first up the Kindlin and Ember armor mod slots of the condescent armor are incorrectly using the icon for a combat style armor mod in the armors menu screen all right some activities also don't drop silver leaves including dares of eternity sever altars of sorrow patrols and the blind well yikes honestly guys we did a breakdown the other day our solstice guide if you're looking to get silver leaves and like max it out within 10 minutes go check it out literally just farm a mission over and over you'll be done in no time also solstice candescent armor cannot be synthesized into an armor ornament everyone was asking me about this is of course the white glow that is on the armor not what you purchase from eververse which is the subclass colors right this is just the white glow you're supposed to be able to synthesize it into an armor ornament with ada however many of you pointed out that this has not been the case looks like bungie's working on it molten overload grenade sometimes doesn't stun champions dude i don't know what's going on with that mod all i know is like we're well past halfway in the season molten overload has not been working correctly all season and i have seen at least two sandbox changes go out that was supposed to be correcting it and yet it's still not working so i'm just gonna assume at this point that's a good chance molten overload is still gonna be buggy now it's supposed to be more consistent than what it was so an improvement just not completely foolproof which is quite risky and things like grandmasters when a single champion can wipe your whole team by the way we just started a point system in our twitch stream starting now you can redeem your points for gm carries trial carries as well as raid runs i do advise saving it though for grandmasters especially when we get horace lease because when the adept version of that pulse rifle starts dropping oh it's gonna be nasty also the latest update has made unintended changes to the last word damage output which will be adjusted back to intended levels next hot fix interesting okay okay that's that's next week yes last word is doing more damage it got unintentionally buffed we are going to be making a video on it anyways because it's been disgusting like the damage has been nuts and i really want you guys to just see it but supposedly this is going to be fixed next tuesday outside of that i still feel like last word is still very very good but that damage bump oh it's nasty now as a final note here from hippie before you head out we have just one more thing for trials with cyrus players for those itching for a specific map to make its way into the next trials rotation you have another shot at shaping where the battle will go down on july the 25th players who are opting in to receive bungie's marketing emails will be able to vote for which map they'd like to see in the upcoming trials lab rotation between eternity widow's court and rusted lands we also wanted to sweeten the guardian voting pot just a little for those interested in getting a shiny new emblem we've got a new community goal to hit if we can get 77,000 votes within the first 48 hours of the vote going live a special reward will unlock via bungie rewards this emblem can be redeemed whether or not you receive your marketing emails so whether you've got us penciled in for your showcase next month or you're just hammering out last minute nightmare containment runs for that dope reaper title we're excited to share the future of destiny and bungie with you as for next week we will be sharing a small look at what's changing in the pvp realm and well a different kind of save the dates interested we'll see you next thursday guardians in the meantime you know the drill drink that water take that self-care and keep being your awesomely kind self love i should go hippie by the way that emblem is sexy no lie and if you're wondering what date she's talking about next week i think it's being teased already it's essentially going to be the raid date for next season and yes we are getting a raid next season is it going to be king's fall very likely guys let me know in the comments below what you think fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right